I've seen crazy sequences, but this may be the craziest of them all. First, to start out with something kind, mature men. I don't know if I would call myself uh, mature, but men who are 25 plus. Drop one piece of advice to men who are 18 to 24. It could be anything. I would say that on off days, the days that don't feel good, right? Because I feel like life is like a roller coaster. You're going to have your highs and your lows. On the lows, remind yourself these three things. You're good. You are great. You will get better. And uh, Kamala may need some of this advice right now because just then Kamala says that if someone breaks into her house, they're getting shot by her gun. He says, I shouldn't have said that. Kamala made comments while speaking out against school shootings. I'm a gun owner. Gun owner. Tim Waltz is a gun owner. If someone breaks into my house, I'm probably going to shoot him. I probably should not have said that, but my staff will deal with that later. Ah, uh, let's see what... Yeah, because she said... She's in terms for like mass gun confiscation. I'm a gun owner. Tim Walls is a gun. I did not know that. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm a gun owner. My house, they're getting shot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I, I, I hear that. I hear that. Probably should not have said that. <laughs> but my I, staff will deal with that later. Yeah. <laughs> so you just caused a problem and you're just going to put the problem onto your staff? Do we just, that really, is that what we call leadership? <laughs> I'm a gun owner. Tim Walls is a gun. I did not know that. Mm, okay, so now we scroll down a little bit. Oprah Winfrey has to step in after Kamala uh, fails to say what she'd do for the border. Okay, so let's let's hear this out. My work and my career has always been about saying, let's fix problems. My work and my career has always been about saying, let's fix problems. Yeah, like cause the labor is so high in California, so let's just put everybody in prison and create cheap labor through prison through prison workers yeah yeah that's a good solution let's so, address the needs because we know it's within our capacity to do that so to answer justin's question w now that that bill has gone and hasn't passed will you reintroduce that absolutely and when i am elected president of the united states i will make sure that bill gets to my desk my work in my career has <laughs> literally that was going to be her answer and oprah was like so about the question breaking news kamala harris told billionaire friend oprah who was who has armed security that she's going on to threaten someone breaks into my house okay that was the same thing that we said kamala in terms of both right <coughs> of hold on, let's just let's hear this out i'm tired of my dyslexic ass trying to reach it we really would love to know what your plan is to help lower the cost of living yeah, I, first of all, middle thank class you American for being here and she's a middle class American a grew up. She really loves, uh, you know, like this person who was like a second mom who was like a who owned a small business and she understands a story I hear around the country as I travel and um, in terms of both rightly having the right to have aspirations and dreams and ambitions for your family and working hard and finding that this dude's smile <laughs> holy fuck just watch this guy smile i'm sorry i'm sorry what we're gonna restart this please watch this guy smile we really would love to Look, know he's so what happy to be here to help lower the cost of living yeah i first of all thank you both for being here and uh, yours is a a story I hear around the country as I travel. And um, in terms of both rightly having okay? the right to have aspirations and dreams and ambitions for your family and working <laughs> hard and finding that the American dream is for this generation and so many recently far more elusive than it's been. And we need to deal with that. And there are a number of ways. One is bringing down the cost of everyday necessities, including groceries. So uh, how are you going to do that? Dude, I'm not going to lie. His reaction looked like he was somebody who was excited for a video game and wound up sucking. It, this chick doesn't even look like she's even happy to be here. Oh, my God. What is going on? Breaking news. Mass Hezbollah casualties reported from goats explode. What? Ex Israel targets with exploding goats they're coming for your pets but now for a different Another reason shocking story coming out of lebanon that's breaking right now two days ago pagers belonging to members of hezbollah were simultaneously detonated 
And yesterday, walkie-talkies all over the country began exploding in another wave of what appears to be Israeli retaliations. But just moments ago, in a truly surreal twist, the rectums of goats all over the country exploded. Can you say that one more time? A surreal twist. The rectums of goats all over the country <laughs> exploded at the same time, killing an additional 1,800 people and injuring thousands of others, as well as killing countless goats. CNN International News correspondent Kevin Brown is following the story on the ground in Tel Aviv. Kevin, it's good to see you because everyone was following. They're coming for your pets. They're coming for your dogs. Watch out. Put them inside. No more outside cats because they will be gone. Because Israel targets Hezbollah with exploding goats and in a surreal turn of events, the rectums of goats have exploded. I am literally quoting what I just heard on CNN. Did you hear Ross saying your name first? No. Uh, uh, like my dirty clothes hamper? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 